Hey, we are going to tie a uh, steelhead jig. Jig. It's a swing jig. It's tied on a 60 degree angle jig hook. And this means you can run it under an indicator. Uh, you can also cast it and swing it. Great fly, great action. Let's get started. Okay, let's get going here. This is a swing jig. It's tied with a tiger barred rabbit strip and a 60 degree jig hook. I'm gonna show you, we have a couple hook choices. We have a Gamagatsu number two, and we have an Umqua number one. And the Umqua is slightly heavier wire. It's just a very slightly bigger hook. I hope you can see that. Not a whole lot of difference. They're just a little bit longer, a little bit wider gig. Uh, they're both really good hooks. I think I'm going to use the uh, Umqua hook today. This is what this baby looks like. How it's going to ride in the water. Really nice. Oh, what kind of thread? I'm going to start with a 210 denier Danville thread. I must have some scissors around here somewhere. There we go. Um, I'm going to use a, what am I going to use? I'm going to use a medium balls eyes right in the corner. It doesn't want to stay in the corner, does it? Let's see if I can get it to stay right there in the corner. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. We go around like this, around like that, and then under we go. Get a little bit of Loctite here. So, you know, there's only so many. I was talking to my dear friend, Trey Combs, this morning. And we were talking, I'm going to trim this, like so, talking about how there are really only just so many variations on fly. You can add a lot of this and you can add a lot of that, but you know when it comes down to it, you've only got just so many options. Now all this trimming is just doing two things. It's trying to adjust my length so that this tail is not too long, not too short. You can make it the length you want to be. And not too much bulk. So the point is, you're going to see my, me tie this same jig. You know, I don't have my Sharpie here, so I'm just going to use a pen. What I like to do Let's pretend I'm using a Sharpie here, okay? Oh, I'll go get my Sharpie. My editor can straighten this out. So why am I gonna use a Sharpie on the back of this rabbit strip? I'm doing this just to add a little bit of visual breakup. You know, you got, whether they're dots or stripes or whatever, just, just a little bit more indication of motion. So for a body, I'm gonna use a Lagerton card of flat breed. I could use any old body I want to here. Happen to like this one. We could tie this in a, with a silver. I'd probably use a dark, darker color. Probably would. In order to keep in the, I could use shrimp pink too. The point is, you know, there's some people just fish with a very few flies. Some people use a lot of different flies. It's fun to tie different flies. But there are only so many variations you can draw on. So we like to have fun as a tire 
So we mix things up a little bit, and that's pretty cool. So I'm going to throw a bump in here. I'm just going to grab what I have handy. Put a little chenille bump here. By the way, you might have noticed my body is thicker in the back, skinnier up front. Doesn't have to be. That's actually kind of an afterthought. You know, it'd be great if I if I actually did a run that rabbit strip all the way up and had the same diameter along there, but fish are gonna be just fine having it this way. I want to use a little bit of uh oop, I'm gonna put my collar in first. Use a chromatic brush, Senyo. This is midnight. Really nice. You could use marabou here. You could use plain old, what could you use? Uh, you could use craft fur. You could spin craft fur. You could use ack. That pulled right out. You could use an intruder prop feather. Come on. Get in there. You could use an intruder prop feather. No, actually you wouldn't want an intruder prop. Forgive me. We're looking for something that's got a little bit of length and wiggle to it. So I would say either spun craft fur or um, you use craft fur brush or marabou. Those would, uh, those would all be good. Uh, the prop feather is a great prop feather, but you know, prop feather slapping wouldn't give you the same amount of wiggle as this does. Well, I want some wiggle. Come on, give me some wiggle. Now, get a little bit of ice wing here. This is minnow, I'm pretty sure. Don't be upset with me if I don't remember the name quite right. Ice wing is a lot of fun. It's also kind of dicey to work with. It's not real, you know, crystal flash, flash is real straightforward to deal with. Just is what it is. This stuff is kind of messy. I'm just gonna rough up these ends here. Okay, there we go. High swing. Uh, let's throw in just, let's reach over here. Get a little bit of crystal. You see how I've got my crystal flash here? Use some UV cure there. Got some pink and some chartreuse, ready to go. We'll talk about that sometime. Whoop, that's just one strand. Let's, oh, let's get two or three strands. We either got too much or not enough. Here's some hot pink crystal flash. A couple turns. Pull it back. Okay. Now I want to finish this off with a schlappen feather. Just going to make a couple turns here. Going to wind it in. We're going to go tip first. And come on, let me, let me be lucky and tie this in. Yeah, I don't want it to show over there. Put it on this side. Let's see if I can capture that. Got loose, now I got tight. Okay. Trim that bright pink piece right under there. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can fold this hackle a little bit. And I think it's gonna wanna turn on me. I think it's gonna wanna turn on me. We'll find out. Uh, if it won't cooperate, 
I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, I think I have this wrapped down, tied down backwards. Let's see if I can turn it. Ooh, I think I got it. Get those pieces untrapped. We don't need much of this. We're just looking for a little hint of pink in the front. I think that's enough. Now let's see if I can tie this down and finish this fly. My sample fly looked really nice. Let's see if I can finish this off nearly as nicely. Remember, you can make fewer turns with your thread. It's not only more fit, you get a tighter head, though sometimes you need to build up your heads. You know, I'm actually trimming by feel, because I can't see that very well. Glasses are great when they work. Okay, let's see how I'm looking. I'm looking fair. I got a little area over here, it's a bit messy. Let's see if I can wrap that down. One, two, three. I think that's good. A rotary vise is really an asset when you're tying flies like this. You know, so some kind of vise doesn't have to spin quickly. I love my Nor vise. There are a lot of vices these days that allow you to just barely move. This is penetrator, hard as hell. Barely spin your vice around. How do you like that beauty? It's a tiger pink swing jig. We're going to tie some more flies like this in a little bit with slightly different materials, but it's the same idea. Hang it under an indicator, dead drift it, or cast it and swing it, or do both. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Let's get out there and have a good time.